Okay, this is a continuation of chapter 4. Chapter 4 is about uh, the future task world. Um, I talked a lot. I gave ideas about the different techniques that you can find at the website. And then I was thinking about the TV screen quality thing. And I considered that, uh, well, the, the discussions we had, some of the discussions were not in this group, but by individual people or small groups. So I thought maybe I should give you some more IDs and pointers, which you still can use this morning, because after we finish this one, you can still uh, well, work if you want. So I'm going to give you suggestions. Suggestions meaning that you can take it or leave it. I'm not saying this is what you should do, or this is the best solution, but if I would have been in your place, if I would have to develop a task model for the screen quality issue, this is what I would have done, and <coughs> I give it to you now, and actually it was on the website since yesterday morning, so it's up to you to, uh, to handle this, and, but you can also say our ideas are better, that's fine. I'm, this is just my personal idea. So, first of all, I did a little bit of Googling. I, I looked at uh, things like uh, setting up image quality for televisions and screen screens, and I got, uh, well, Immediately, in five seconds, I got like 20 URLs, and I give you just some example of the URL. So this is a Dutch one, so for half of you this wouldn't work. But in the Netherlands, there's a consumer organization, Consumentenbond, and this consumer organization is every year looking at screen quality on television sets, and they provide a lot of information. So they have information about the, the, the installation of the systems. Apparently many systems nowadays have an installation that's labeled shop and there's an installation labeled home. And if you buy your television in the shop, they show you it installed in a certain way and then when the machine arrives at home, this is a different installation. So this is interesting to know that what they show you in the shops is different from what, they sh what, what your machine shows when you open the box at home. This is kind of misleading and interesting. And also, it, it gives a lot of guidelines for fine-tuning your screen quality. And I just give you part of this website. So, go there. And, and Cello is, is a, a, a provider in the Netherlands. And Cello provides you, again in Dutch, the, the English one will be after this, but my machine tries to find Dutch first for some stupid reason. Anyhow, so... It, it tells you about screen quality, it gives you examples of what happens if the screen is, has a different setting, because it really makes a difference. Um, so, and this is in English, buying a television, what you need to know. And this is about picture quality, and, and, I just, and it has, gives hints. So tip number four is about picture quality, and there are more and more and more. So, and this website just came up in five seconds, right? So this helps you to find out. And, and then this is another one. Uh, and this is in order to improve the picture quality and, and then it gives how to pick the right TV, how to hook up, how to calibrate, how to connect and so on. And you can hit on all these URLs and you get lots of things. So this is information for the public. Anybody who has a television set and has problems and just asks Google about picture quality, either in Dutch or in English, will get this stuff, this type of information. So. This information is there. Actually, I would say this information itself is an object that's relevant for people who are concerned about the image quality of their television set. And if these people would have internet connections, which I think 80% of the Dutch households has now, this is what you get. And you hit and you get information. Maybe it's not fit for you, but it's there. Um, and this is another one that talks about colors and brightness. Uh, and there's another one that talks you about the, the, the widescreen and, and you can see the different types of images you get when you have different screens looking at the same signal. And you can see there's a lot of things that go wrong. Be because I think only one of these images is the ideal image and all the others are readily available on sets that people have at homes, even new sets. So there's problems here and there's information that you can find in five seconds, and that most households can find in five seconds. Interesting to know, I think. So, apart from what you can find by interviewing a couple of people, it makes sense to find out, because in most households now there is internet, and if people would ask, this is what they get. Lots of 
relevant information and most of the time guidelines that are very complex so most people will still die before they finish to really set their television to the appropriate settings so I thought and this is another one and well there's many 